Today, we are going to be doing a deep analysis and comparison of whether or not the two-in-one hair curler straightener is actually better at curling your hair than a regular flat iron. Not only is it better, is it easier, is it faster, is there an actual purpose for having this iron over this iron when achieving flat iron curls? If you are curious to find out, and I am curious to find out because I don't even know what the answer is yet, then keep on watching. For those of you who are already a part of my community already know that I did individual videos about both of these irons already and they were first impression videos. I wanted to see if this would smooth out my cra crazy frizzy curly hair and whether or not this would create some beautiful flat iron curls and I was surprisingly impressed by both of them. They are both so inexpensive and so effective at doing what they say they are supposed to do. The Revlon flat iron costs $37 and this twist iron costs $38, which is an absolute steal for a hot tool. The Revlon flat iron is a copper three times ceramic plate, and this is a ceramic plate, which again is really, really good for an inexpensive tool. They have good quality plates, and they are also comparable when it comes to heat. The twist iron gets to 230 degrees Celsius, and the Revlon flat iron gets to 225 degrees Celsius. So I just feel like these guys are really good guys to compare. We are going to be curling the right side of my head with the twist iron and the left side of my head with the Revlon flat iron and we're going to take a look at whether or not the curls look different or if it's faster or easier to use one or the other. Because I'm not a fan of a curl that's too bouncy at the bottom like this, for both sides, I'm just gonna pull the very bottom and I'm going to smooth it out to create a more modern shape. So for side number one, you can see that it was really easy to do. You just had to do one twist of your arm, pull through, straighten out the ends, uh, run your fingers through it a little bit, and you get absolutely gorgeous, quite uh, effortless, and very fast curls and waves. It really only took me uh, less than 10 minutes to do this side, and I was being quite careful. So far, so good. It's gonna be hard to beat this. All right, let's do the second side with our Revlon Pro Copper Flat Iron now and see if there's any difference. Just to give you a little bit of context, the reason that I bought this flat iron, if you haven't watched that video, is because it has ridiculously high reviews. The reviews are all amazing and there is a lot of them. I thought maybe the reviews weren't going to live up to the actual tool because I have so much experience using hot tools and I was wrong. It has a really smooth glide. It can straighten absolutely anything. It does so evenly and quickly. And now that I'm curling, I can even tell that the curling function of this tool is also incredible. I hardly ever curl my hair with a flat iron and I've never used this this flat iron to curl my hair. But look at that, we are getting a perfect bouncy result on one pass and I can straighten the ends out no problem. The one big difference that I feel between these irons is that this has more of a grip than this one. This one kind of glides easily and effortlessly and so does this. This one feels super, super smooth, but it has more grip. It does tighten and close on the hair more than the other one does. So that's good to know. All right, so here is the second side with Revlon. I did find that I got my hair on the second side done with relatively the same amount of time as the first side. So I don't find that the twist iron was an actual savings to time. The thing about this for me that's actually kind of tough is that I really like this iron, so I don't wanna hate on it, but you're doing the exact same motion with your wrist as you are when you are curling with a flat iron. Because of that, I didn't find using this easier than using this. It was the same sectioning, the same motion, the same kind of 
twisting and pulling through and flat flattening out the ends it didn't save any steps and didn't actually make it any easier than using an actual flat iron this is different than what i expected i really thought the twist iron was going to be more efficient or just going to be easier in general to get the shape that you want but in all honesty i really do feel like the shape is the same with both irons the results are different than what i expected i went in fully thinking that the twist iron was going to win but I gotta be real, there's not really much of a difference. So if you wanna get something and you wanna invest in a hot tool, if you don't have unlimited amounts of money and don't want unlimited amounts of hot tools, then a flat iron's kind of all that you really need. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see some more flat iron reviews or you want to learn about different products, then check out these videos next. As always, I love you and I'll see you later.